Carrie Roberts here, and we're looking at the Atomic Red Team Library, a library of scripted cyber attack, which is useful for security teams to help them understand attacks and develop detections and preventions. Today we're going to look in the library, which is in this Atomics folder here. Inside the library we see a bunch of technique numbers that come from the MITRE ATT&CK framework. And today we're looking at technique 1003, which is under the tactic of credential access and sub technique number two is the technique of OS credential dumping sub technique number two which is specifically the security accounts manager which is used on Windows to store local user credentials. In the last spotlight we looked at test number one registry dump of the SAM creds and secrets registry hives. We're going to look at test number three today, which is copying the SAM registry hive using eSent util. So here we see that to emulate this attack or to run this attack, we need to run the following commands in the command prompt and we need to be elevated. So we need to run the command prompt as admin. Here's the command that we need to run, but it has this fancy hashtag squeakly syntax, which is actually referring here file path to this file path which by default is system root system 32 config sam and then it is also going to replace this copy destination with percent temp which is wherever we want to save it which is the temp directory by default and then the file name we want to call it which default is sam so we could copy this command we could copy in all these default values and replace all these variables, but that's kind of a pain. So today we're going to use the Invoke Atomic Red Team Execution Framework, which is a tool written in PowerShell, but works cross-platform that knows how to read the Atomic Red Team library and execute it. So it will follow these rules, it will replace the variables for us, and it will run this command. So let's go start PowerShell as an administrator. And now we can just say Invoke atomic test t1003.002 and that was test number three okay so it used the extensible storage engine tool built into windows 10 here to make a copy of the sam registry hive which contains credentials in the local directory temp sam it says operation completed successfully so we have a copy of that sam but as we noted in the last highlight video you actually need a copy of an ed another registry called the system registry hive because it contains an encryption key that we're going to need to actually decrypt the credentials in the sam registry hive so we're going to use our execution framework to modify this test, the default parameters for this test, and we're going to ask it to prompt it, prompt for input args. So here it says, what do you want to copy? So last time we copied the SAM file from system32. This time we will copy the system file. And where do we want to save it? We'll, we'll save it as a file called system instead of SAM this time and in the temp directory is fine and there we've successfully written that file as well if we look over in our temp directory we see the system and sam now we can demo what we did in the last video we could start up mimi cats again this isn't typical attacker behavior they would typically take this copy of the system and sam off of this computer onto a computer that they have where they would extract the credentials, but we'll do it right here on the same system just for demonstration purposes. So I've got a copy of Mimi Cats here. Okay, in Mimi Cats, we can just give it a command that says we want the secrets out of the SAM file, and we pass it the SAM, which is in the temp directory, and the system file. And we see those same credentials as the last highlight. We look here, we see that our current user art has this NTLM hash. Attackers can use this hash by itself to move around in Windows and to authenticate without actually knowing the password. They could also try to crack it. For example, we could take this NTLM hash and go to the web to crack station online password cracking, click crack the hashes. 
And here it shows us that we've had an exact match, that the password associated with this hash is ninjamonkey1, which is the current password for the art user. So in this highlight, we've seen how making a copy of the SAM and system registry hives with various tools, in this case, the Ascent Util tool, leads attackers to gaining credential access. I hope you've enjoyed this video and will join me in the next Atomic Spotlight.